guys welcome back to another oh my gosh there's a dog another us cali road trip vlog we have just landed well not landed we drove from san fran to napa hey doggy it's a cute little doggy here and we are doing wine tasting in napa we're actually with our friends who are from napa so we have the best tour guides we are starting with apparently one of the smaller wineries i've never been to napa it's my first time i'm just loving it as a dog i'm wearing this cute dress it's 30 degrees we have looked out and i just don't know what to expect from napa so excited to take you guys along with us for the most beautiful day dexter Hi, Daddy. hey dexter Hi. i already like this dog's here hey sweetie so i'm so nervous my mama's gonna back into the dog you yeah. we'll taste through four wines a sauvignon blanc a pinot and a couple of calves um and the wine club information's there and of course it worked for him <laughs> actually you don't have to actually get it done don't stretch yourself let me just have tea that you really like it. It was very like fresh yeah, and easy to drink for summer. Oh my god, I really want to Next time It's 100% new French oak barrels. It's just coming on the walk with us around the beautiful area. This is the first winery. It's literally stunning. It's like my dream home. This is so beautiful. Dex is following us. Oh, that's my kind of pizza oven over there. That's stunning. I kind of. I like it a lot. First wine tasting done, although it's quite early, so I only had a few sips. Don't want to get carried away like I did in Carmel, if you guys remember the OG vlog when we first ever did wine tasting. Now heading for lunch, apparently this spot is gorgeous and a real vibe, so can't wait to see it. Loving it so far, it's kind of like a sunny, gorgeous, more beautiful Coswold. like I'm in military school right now. <laughs> this is like a garage with cars in. <gasps> How beautiful. Oh my god, that's stunning. <laughs> it's time for our next tasting. This is the most beautiful estate. Like, these places are actually insane. They're like full vineyards. They're absolutely stunning. Look at this. We're very late, so we're kind of in trouble. We actually had to run out before dessert, so I'm very happy to see some cheese here. Oh, this is so cute. It has our names on it. I love a personalized experience. Very cute. So this is called Far Niente. Is that how I pronounce it? Yes. Gorgeous. And we brought your stuff in here. Difference. Um, so we have that lively acidity, but we also have a touch of minerality and a lot more tropical. So think about some fresh pineapples um, and a little bit of um, guava coming off of that. And then next to that, you have the 2019 vintage of the en route, Med Palmier, oh, you know, wow. like tropical. Isn't it crazy? Yeah. Yeah, they're very different. Yeah. Oh yeah, right without the sweet. Like, yeah, yeah. It kind of confuses you because you're like, hey, pineapple, I smell it, and then you taste it, and you think Hawaii. it's maybe sweet, but it's not. When we were in Hawaii, how good would that be? That's pretty good. Really yeah. good. Well, good. I think I really like Sean. Together, so it's a little bit bolder style of Pinot Noir. Um, this is like a tasting of all your sister brands. Oh, except for everything, yeah. yeah. So the, our Chardonnay in our cab, and then we put sandwiched um, a Pinot Noir in another Cabernet from a couple different wineries in the middle there. So That's all sort of vintages, yeah. And then I have a French blue cheese, and if you can uh, be patient and save a bite of that until the end, it's going to pair nicely with the Dolce. Hopefully, we can be patient. Yeah. Yeah. We, we did just come from lunch, so okay. <laughs> two Cabernets. Uh, ideally, I feel like this is the one you can drink younger and you don't have to wait and age it. Then the last one is the one you want to wait for. So that's the 2019 vintage of the Farniente Estate Cabernet. And so on this one, um, this is coming right off the property. So we came down that long drive with the ginkgo trees on either side. Just to the right of that is where we're planting all of those Cabernet grapes. And so much more red fruit. 
cherry and cassis on this for sure. Um, a little bit higher acidity and definitely much bigger tannins on this as well. And then that finish just kind of keeps on rolling over and through your palate. Um, a little bit of the toasted oak and hints of vanilla on the finish as well. Mostly white or red wine drinkers here? Mostly red. red. I'm red, but recently I'm really into white wine and I don't know what's happened to me. Because it's warming up. Yeah, I used to like really not like white wine and I'm massively into it now. Interesting. That is kind of like spring. Like yeah. When it goes to summer, I'm like in the tasting rooms. It's one of my favorite vintages, the 2013 Cabernet. So I had to take this glass and I took it home. Oh, shy. And I had a dinner <laughs> and I was like, it's so hot out. Oh, so hot. So hot. I suffered through it, but I was like, wow, like 2013 eyes here. Apparently I love it. The um, white now. <laughs> I'm gonna let you enjoy these for a little bit. Okay, so lunch was really good. We had amazing sourdough. Didn't realize that San Francisco was so good for sourdough, but I actually think it's the first place we ever tried it. San Francisco sourdough. Gail sell a San Francisco sourdough. It all makes sense now. Was it founded here? Like we have another M in the group. So is that why the sourdough is so good here? Yes, we're the home of sourdough. Like you can tell, you can tell my YouTube if you want. <laughs> really? That's incredible. Thanks, so sourdough was from here, which is probably why the sourdough we had for lunch was so good. And then Matt and I had like this amazing pasta, which honestly I could not have eaten by myself. I have a big appetite, but it was a very big bowl. So then we just did another wine tasting. I had my first dessert wine of the trip and I love dessert wine. It was like not gloopy but really sweet. I actually drank everyone else's as well. So now we are walking around the most stunning estate. I this one is known for like its polished gardens and it's just utterly beautiful. These tulips are insane. I've bought wine so Matt's just on boyfriend duty carrying it. Honestly these are pristine. Gives me like the notebook vibes. Wow. So I'm wearing my first ever trip to Ocean Harbour. No, she can be in it. Do you want to be in my These girls don't like to be in it. Oh, I didn't know this was happening. You can go to the garden after, I think you'll like it. So we're going to Restoration Hardware, which is a furniture store, right? Yeah. And they have the cloud sofa, which is actually what my sofa was based on. But we had to get it made because they don't sell Restoration Hardware in England. So that's the plan. And apparently it's really cute, so stay tuned. Put on wine bars. Oh, okay, so more wine in case we didn't have enough wine. Um, but you don't do tastings, it's just got like a restaurant. No, it. it's like a wine bar, you do like a place. So you're never gonna see these girls' faces because they're anonymous, but you can hear their voices and you can guess in the comments below what they look like. <laughs> you already heard me singing uh, Olivia Rodrigo. Oh, yeah, the road trip song is always oh Olivia God. Rodrigo. If you know, you know. I-K-Y-I-K-Y, -I -K -Y. bye. Hey. Restoration Hardware. The famous Restoration Hardware. Matt, is that my favourite show or is that my favourite show? Matt doesn't let me watch Great British Bake Off though, do you? You grump. It's not my favourite. He's a grump. Love it. So we're at Restoration Hardware, right? And the lady at the front desk was saying she was British and I was like, oh, where are you from? She was born in York and you, I know that a lot of you guys are from Yorkshire. She knows what a Betty's Fat Rascal is. I mean, of course she is. Anyone from Yorkshire knows what a Betty's Fat Rascal is. Fat Rascal is like a scone. I don't know if you say scone or scone. <laughs> So a scone, but it's like a gigantic one. It's like bigger than my head almost, um, and it's insane. But I actually had one the other day. There. You eat it, I have it with butter, but you, you can have, oh actually I had it with butter and jam the other day. I'll show you a picture, because I literally had it the other day. God, it was so good. Um, yeah, my mum got me one for my breakfast the other day when I when we popped home for like you know, five minutes. My favorite is, um, what do you guys call it in England? Um, like from scratch, just like the... Like a puff pastry with no, no, cream. No. It's like the cream that you guys eat your scones with. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. um. Uh, oh my god, a clotted cream. Clotted cream. Clotted okay, cream. Oh, guys. Oh my god, I eat spoonfuls of that. That can't be healthy. Right, go through. This is this is no. It's this is not clotted healthy. Cream. This will be good with clotted cream on. It's basically a gigantic scone, but it has like Wait, um cherries in it. Yeah, and it's it's literally bigger than my hand. Wait, this is, scones are my life. No, Matt, how good is a fat rascal? So they've run out of scones, so I was like, oh, what a shame, I'll have to have a fat rascal instead. Wait, what? We should take them to Rudding Park in Yorkshire, they'd love it. They would love it. This oh, it's the most gorgeous spot. Yeah, I know, it's insane. 
Like it's I a vibe. I need you to give me any, just give me these like three times a day. <laughs> Guys, it's a vibe. If you know, you know. Look at that. So yeah, Yorkshire girls in Napa, what can I say? I'm all wine. I love that you know which wine I would like. Where would you Where should we go? Like okay. This is the exact sofa that we wanted, but obviously we couldn't get it because we're not in the US. It's literal perfection. This is so beautiful, this area. Wow. Oh wow. So guys, this is a three Michelin star restaurant and this is their garden where they basically grow all of their fresh produce and vegetables. Apparently it's really hard to get a reservation there. This one is called French Laundry. Literally stunning. Look at the flowers. That's better, but guys, you need to listen to this. <laughs> if you want a better Michelin star in wine country, you need to go to Single Thread. It's a different vibe. It's culinary experience, super focused on the food. Single Thread is amazing. Do you want if your you face want... to be on here? Oh, nah, no. I'm gonna have my mouth. She's beautiful, but she's <laughs> she's been anonymous. If uh, you want really good food, a little bit of party, a little bit of after party, classic, then the French Laundry. I would okay, say. so the French Laundry is more of like a fun vibe and an experience. Both three star. Both Michelin. three star Michelin and single it's thread. Nice. Is yeah. So next time we'll have to try. So, so how do you pronounce it? Sonoma. Single thread. Sonoma. Sonoma. So Sonoma is also like 40 minutes from here, and also wine country. Yeah. Well, I'm learning something new. And also the girls took us to Restoration Harbour, which was so beautiful. Apparently not like the best buy for food, just like good for like a burger. And they had a really great cheese plate, but they were actually so nice to us. They basically let us like share wine pairings and they were, the service was great, wasn't it? It was. And I need that sofa. You're like, becoming a wine country pro. What can I say? I would move here just so I can get that sofa delivered to my apartment, <laughs> seriously. I can't cope that I've seen the sofa behind the M. Shell home sofa. I feel emotional. This is the bakery that they have in San Fran, right? Is uh, in like Bouchon or is it not the same? It's part of the, that restaurant. It's beautiful. It has like the French laundry, it's the same chef. Really? Oh, it must be different then. I don't think it's the same as a sourdough one. I know. No, no. It's San Fran. Oh, yeah, no, it's, different. it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, you know it looks like it's open. Oh. Oh. Wow, so this is like a little town. Oh my god, there's a, a chocolate. There's a chocolate and espresso shop. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we must get a, go. A coffee here. Yeah. We could get a coffee. This is cute. Really oh my gosh. And they have macaroons. Is it open? Sorry, are you bringing us to a bakery? Okay, you've got it, guys. <gasps> what do I need to get? Oh man, I'm gonna have to make some room. I'm gonna have to make some room. Oh my god. This is cute. Guys, I think it's closed. Everything is so beautifully designed. Like, I absolutely love this. The chairs. These restaurants are just beautiful, seriously. This is a, the most picture perfect town I've ever seen. I mean, look, it's like something out of a movie. We've arrived at our stay for the night. Hey! Oh, you're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. <laughs> like a big seal. A seal pup. Seal pup. Seal pup. Big seal pup. Big bye. Goodbye. Like this. Oh! Woohoo! Oh, enjoy! Hey guys from New York City. I'm just here to end this Napa vlog. I know it was such a whirlwind vlog. So many of you guys on Instagram sent me so many recommendations. I had no idea. So many of you loved Napa so much. So our friends basically lived there in the most insane house, which obviously I didn't show because hello, privacy, but oh my goodness. It's literally the dreamiest house I've ever seen. Maybe one day I'll ask them if I can give you guys a tour. And yeah, we got to play with our horses and eat amazing pizza last night with the sunset. And then we woke up this morning to truly the most amazing sunrise. And it's just 
honestly the house of my dreams. Napa is an amazing place and we didn't even touch a base of it. Like we went to a fair few wineries, we had amazing food, went to the bakeries, but we're definitely gonna probably go back over summer and explore more because we have the best tour guides and our friends who live there. So I didn't wanna not vlog this section, even though like we weren't there for that long, literally two days. I would like to go back to Napa and do a few more days and really soak it up. But now we are in New York, baby, so get ready for that vlog next. Don't forget to come say hi on Instagram at mshellx. Everything I mentioned will be linked below. If you made it this far, comment and let me know your favourite wine, red, white or rosé. You are a real OG if you make it this far. The little highlight bubbles will have all of my favourite spots from this trip on it. Don't forget to watch the Tahoe vlog, also my Florida vlog and then my New York one is coming. Oh, and my San Fran one. So many vlogs. I hope you guys are enjoying them. All my love.